Hello everyone, Miles of Adoration here. I wanted to take a moment uh, to share a little bit of my heart concerning what it means to be powerless in the midst of the trials and tribulations that I go through in life. I consider um, that I'm not God, first of all, and I admit that I am powerless to control uh, many of my problems and many of my situations in life. And uh, I see that my life is unmanageable apart from God's workmanship, His power working in my life throughout the things that I'm dealing with. So uh, I think of the scripture in Matthew 5, verse 3, specifically, it says that happy are those who know they are spiritually poor. By knowing that I have a need for God, that I have a need for His touch and His, uh, His hand at work in the details of my life, His hand at work in the healing process of my heart, uh, the things I've gone through in my past which have caused me to uh, be wounded or to be in a place of struggling or hurting in, in my life, as I see that I need God to work in those ways, I'm happy. I have happiness because of the fact that I know that God is good and He's with me. He's able to take my difficulties. He's able to take my struggles. He's able to take everything in my life that is holding me back from a closer relationship with Him. And He's able to remove the obstacles. He's able to remove the difficulties. What I want to do is I want to change my heart's perspective on what it means to... I guess what it, I want to change my heart's perspective on what it means to be engaging in Christ or engaging in the walk of being changed and transformed. To do that, I know I need to, I need to work on a lot of issues. I need to work on a lot of um, problems that I have in my life that I have yet to resolve, uh, broken feelings, broken emotion, broken heart, um, it really is. It is being broken. It is being spiritually poor where I find that strength to change in Christ. And uh, I know that uh, nothing good dwells in me uh, that is in my sinful nature. And that I desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out. Um, in step one of the Celebrate Recovery process, it says that um, we admitted that we we're powerless over our addictions and our compulsive behaviors and that our lives have become unmanageable. So when I see that, I think, okay, like, I need to be able to give God these problems and let Him change me. I've tried to do it, and I can't do it. Every time I try to change my life for good of my own strength and my own abilities, I fail miserably. I need God to help me. I need Him to restore me. And I need to see His work at lo in my life to uh, bring me to a better place. Right now I feel like I'm really just getting started. I'm not, uh, I'm not healed completely. I, I believe that Jesus is my healing, that Jesus is the actual healing of my life that I'm looking for. It's not... Basically, I need. It's not a feeling that of healing. It's not a, a a a situation of my heart or a condition of myself. That's my healing. It really is Jesus. That's my healing. It's it's Jesus who is the one who I am looking for for healing. Um. So, um, and then I think that I think that pride is 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 a big uh, pitfall for me too. Is to think that oh well, this guy thinks some people can think well, this guy thinks. He has a lot to offer, and and I just don't. I not in anything in my sinful nature do I have anything to offer. But in me being honest and sincere and open with my life as I am, and and being someone who is able to just basically give God my heart and let Him use me according to how He wants to, that's really what I'm trying to do in order to be used and. And am I worthy of that? I'm worthy of that only because of the blood of Jesus. It's not because of anything I've done. The only thing I'm worthy of is 
just what God has purchased for me by His Son's cross and the blood of His Son, Jesus, the Lamb of God. And uh, so I want to use my life to honor Him, but to do that I have to die to my pride, my arrogance, my sinful ways, and I have to say, okay, like I need God to open a door for me. I need God to open a door. And then when I see that, I realize that really God, through the cross of Jesus, through His sacrifice, I find out that He is the open door. He is that door that's wide open. And and it was opened when Christ, in His death on the cross, tore the veil that separated the Holy of Holies from the people. And like He tore the veil like we all can experience God's grace. We all can experience the forgiveness of Christ through the blood of the Son of God. And so that's where I find my power and strength. It's not from any intellectual capacity I have or any intellectual abilities. or um, It's not because I'm a smart guy or anything like that. It doesn't have anything to do with me. It has everything to do with who Jesus is and the power of healing and the power of restoration and the power of the gospel is found in the fact that Jesus Christ became a man and he died on a cross. He became fully human, experienced a fully full human life without sin, died on the cross, was buried and rose from the dead to bring salvation to all who would believe in him. And that means that I am that broken sinner who basically lays my life down before Jesus and says, here I am, I'm broken, I don't have anything, I am wretched apart from you, God, to to save me and to bring some kind of redemptive plan through my life, to bring some kind of worth or value to me. And I see that you, Jesus, are the only one who can do that. Because you're the one who ascribes value to me. It's not value that I obtain on my own through my works or what I do to make things right with my, with my life, essentially. Or it's just Jesus Christ is the only way and the only truth and the only life. Thanks for listening.